Discord, and now I'm going to share my okay. screen. Okay. So welcome everybody to the Design Review Board on Wednesday, October 26, 2022. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, extended by Chapter 20. 22 of the at 22 of the acts of 2022 this meeting will be conducted via remote means members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via zoom or by telephone no in person attendance of members of the public will be permitted but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means at this time we will have a roll call uh, and when I call your name, uh, please indicate by saying aye. Uh, Becky Lockwood. Aye. Okay, and Tom Long here. Aye. Yeah, okay, and Catherine Porter uh, is also here. So we have several uh, items for the agenda. The first being Quench Juice Cafe. Uh, we're going to review the proposed sign lettering. Uh, look, this, uh, section 3.2 zoning bylaw located at 19 North Pleasant Street. Uh, so do we have somebody um, here to discuss that, Maureen, or? Yeah, uh, yes, um, so we have Chris Gregarious. I'm gonna make you a panelist, Chris, just one moment. Okay. see me there okay. we hear you but we don't see you there it i am there you i are. found myself there you go. okay all right okay so you have uh some proposed signage for the uh, juice bar is that right i guess ma'am we submitted maureen do you have a copy of that sure i can pull i it don't up. know how to okay. share it on yep um How's everyone's gloomy day doing? Oh, we're hanging in there. <laughs> It'll be gorgeous tomorrow. Just Go waiting for the sun. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here's Quench. Uh, so did we, didn't we see some version of this before? Uh, yeah, so yeah. just to recap at the last meeting. Right. Uh, the board uh, recommended the proposed backlit LED 23 inch mm -hmm. by 89 inch wall sign that's above the doorway with the following suggestions repaint the existing black fascia panel behind and surrounding the proposed sign to the color white keep the proposed sign frame black as proposed mm -hmm. adjust the lettering to the proposed sign to be bolder and return back to the drb for any proposed signage lettering decals in the windows and or door okay so this shows the what was um, already um, voted on last time uh -huh. is the black trim and um, and what was the mention about uh, keeping the back fascia white? Oh, to the repaint the existing black fascia behind and surrounding the proposed sign to be color white. Yeah. So it's uh, unclear of. Um, if if that's being provided here, but um, yes, it was, I'm sorry, Maureen. Yes, it was always it was, excuse me. It's already completed. Oh, okay. Per, per the recommendations. Oh, oh okay. 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 And uh, and then so this is the proposed signage. So if you could talk about this, and so um, so you have the green, the orange, and the gray blackish lettering, and here you have the white lettering. So the signage is, is it is, does it, uh, is it uh, taking up the appropriate amount of space on the windows or is it, is there more signage than sh should officially be on each panel? 
Uh, uh, under the zoning bylaw, I believe they meet the sign requirements for size. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So this is what we're looking at. This is the end uh, result. Is that correct? This, yeah, so, yes, so, ma'am. Okay. So um, the board members can comment and um, we can uh, move it on. Any comments from uh, our board members? Tom, uh, you're a sign person. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I actually, I like it. It's simple, it's clean. It's the white is perfect on the glass and the green grass is fun. I, I, the only thing I would say is it feels a little bit redundant. Like you say the same thing a lot of times on a tiny little front. So I don't know if you need it all there. We have um, a little bit of it's, totally, it's just like totally my aesthetic, but like maybe I would just put the, the logo on one window and the juice offerings on the other window and like, you know, leave those two the way they are. So, you know, that might just be a way to simplify it. I mean, I mean, I'm okay with it how it is because it's consistent and it's clean. But if you felt the need to like dial it back a little bit, that would be my recommendation, and I would approve that option as well, <laughs> uh, right here on the spot. Yeah. But um, because I think you can't. I think going less would be okay, but I wouldn't yeah. go more than this. Yeah. But it's clean and it's tidy, and yeah. I don't have any other comments in that yeah. regard. I like the orange. I mean, the uh, fruit section i also like the grass i think that gives it a little punch to the uh, uh and of course it's not going to be black right i mean you have it here to have the sign stands out but then be on clear glass is that correct yeah okay yes ma'am yeah becky oh, you have any that was my question i was wondering about all of the black that you couldn't see but that's not really going to be there correct yes that's correct right. Um, and I would agree with Tom. I don't think you need it. It is lovely. I love the way it looks. That the colors. It is simple and clean. Uh, maybe you don't need the offerings on both sides, uh, but you know it's fine the way it is. No, you can have more. That would be my suggestion. Uh, well, uh, you can uh, 70 standing up, but that's a. Um, we're gonna, just going to pause for a moment um, as the chair has a matter to address right now. OK, all right. Okay. What does it say sure. um, at the bottom here? Okay. I'm just curious. Uh, Those are the business right. hours. Thanks so much. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm sorry I was trying to- No words. Multitask. So if there, um, are we in a place where we can accept this uh, with, with your suggestion, Tom, that perhaps if they wanted to streamline it a bit, that would uh, also, uh, be fine. Uh, are we okay with that? So, yeah. uh, so just to repeat, yeah. to, to have the logo on the left window. Yeah. On pictured on the screen here, and then have the bulleted list on the right mm -hmm. window. Yeah. I would. I mean, I'm I'm offering it as an option. Like I, I think that I could I would approve it as is, but um, that is a secondary option. Mm -hmm. I would approve as well, just yeah. depending on how they want to go. Yeah. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to prescribe how it should look, but I think that would be, you know, a, a couple options, and and I think you'd be in good shape. Well, it is a lot of signs. I mean, it's yeah, uh, yeah. The the four signs. If you look at the building, no, uh, yeah. Miss Miss Porter, I'm sorry. Though the the two that you're seeing uh, going into the entrance on that, there's going to be no signage there. Those are just our coming soon signs. Or yeah, I no, I see, but I see the door has it, and both you know, so you got four. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Well, that's food for your thought. Um, if um, uh, if you wanted to go in that direction. Okay. So, do I hear a motion that we approve the signage for Quench? Um, 
with the suggestion that they may want to pull back somewhat on um, having two complete signages on the front windows. Is that? So moved. Okay. Second. Moved and second. All right. Um, so Tom uh, moved it, Becky seconded it. Um, so I uh, will get a vote. Um, Tom, yes or no? Right. Yes. Okay. Becky? Yes. Yes. And Catherine, yes. Okay. We'll be there for a quench. Good luck, Chris. Thank you <laughs> yes, all very that. much. We all look forward to seeing you soon. Okay. <laughs> Will. I'll be thank there. you so much. <laughs> okay. Thank Have you. Have a great evening. Yeah. You as well. Bye bye. <clears throat> okay. So let's see now what what is next on our agenda here. So the next. All item right. Is the. Uh, is Sam Dong. Sam Dong to review the proposed wooden element in windows for the new restaurant at Lao Hu Tong. Um, this is, um, yeah, down on Main Street. So, yeah, 63 Main Street. Okay. Uh, is somebody here for that, Maureen? Yes, Sam okay. is here. He's just uh, coming up as a panelist. So, okay. just give him one second. Oops. I'll, I'll get out of this. Hi, Sam. Can you turn your video on? Yeah. Hi. How are you guys? Okay. Hi. Thank you for uh, for attending. Um, to recap, so the board did uh, review um, your uh, your um, uh, improvements to the existing awning and for the proposed uh, signage mm -hmm. for your new restaurant at mm -hmm. where is it? Sixty three Main Street. And that was uh, to provide the recommendations were to provide a straight edge to the awning that balance to okay. ensure that the red burgundy paint applied to the door and the window trim is uh, uh, um, compatible, that should say, sorry, to the red burgundy color applied to the awning. Okay. The two colors should be of the same family of red burgundy and or should be a few shades different from one another. And three, return back to the design review board for any proposed signage, lettering, decals in the window and or door. Yeah. Yes. So just, uh, I'm not sure if, if Tom or Becky, were either one of you at that hearing? It seemed like- I, it, I can't I, recall. I, don't I mean, think my sense were. is that we're only looking right now at um, the other things have been approved and recommended. And yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Yeah, okay. I think it was Lindsay and Erica and I, he, yeah, yeah, it was the last yeah. meeting. If it's helpful, oh, I can pull up the last meeting. Okay, so let's. No, so, I'm fine. Um, I mean, I'm happy to. Yeah, we're okay. Um, yeah, oh, okay. Just, there we go. Okay. So, so, I think it's beautiful. So I'm. It is. It <laughs> okay is. It. I love that. Yeah. So okay. So now. That uh, will maybe, uh, maybe it might just be nice to pull up the last one, just because yeah. uh, the, the next photo wasn't didn't really um, translate that well. Um, Color-wise, yeah. Um, yeah. So this is the what was approved was um, this awning, yeah. the lettering, and then repainting the trim without the without the uh, uh, what sc scrolls <laughs> ruffle at the at yeah. the One bottom. Yeah. And then if we pull back to this, um, so yeah. like the uh, I just wanted to show you that what was approved. So, because yeah. this this black is actually the red burgundy, okay. and then the mm -hmm. trim around the door uh -huh. and the windows. Very nice. And these panels are on the windows. That's is that that's what we're looking at. Two panels, one on each window. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Uh, all right, you guys want me to explain the stuff for you guys? I don't uh, think so. I mean, it's yeah. pretty straightforward to me. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I think it's I think it's a beautiful addition to the facade and I think it um, will create some privacy and uh -huh. some interesting light uh -huh. and uh, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Becky, any uh, thoughts, comments? Oh, I love it. I, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Different um, and clean and yeah. yeah. From a distance, it looks like a menu, but I, that's why I wanted to confirm <laughs> that, that uh, what you had are those uh, panels. So yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other uh, changes or or uh, questions you might have about this, uh, about your restaurant that you would like us to take a look at? Or um, No, that would be okay. the everything for our uh, 
awning and then the window. <laughs> and uh, okay, so I want to explain something about this stuff because we don't know what's that called in English, but in Chinese we call that hua ge. The mean is kind of like a long time ago in China, we don't have glass. So we only put this stuff in the window for uh -huh for cover the inside yes. and uh, we we use that because we don't want to use anything kind of like any picture or any word for explain Chinese culture mm -hmm. that's the reason we just want to choose the special stuff show up to the custom and the people throw the outside can see, oh, this is a Chinese restaurant. Yes. Yes. Because our opinion is not just about the Chinese food. We want to people enjoy the Chinese food and the Chinese culture in oh. our restaurant. That's our design from. Yes. Very nice. Yeah. That's excellent. Thank good, you, Sam. Good, yeah. Good, no problem. Good choice. It's going to be beautiful. So mm -hmm. I'll uh, Sam, I'll um I'll let uh, Jen Mullins and Inspection Services know that this was approved, and so you can go ahead and I don't know if you need a building permit, but you can go uh go ahead and um uh, contact Jen Mullins and and I will too that this was approved tonight. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. Okay. You oh, too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So do we have to make a motion, Marie? Oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay, do I hear a motion that we approve these panels uh, on the windows of the restaurant? Uh, I move that we approve. Tom, second. Catherine. Okay. okay. All right. Um, all in favor, raise your hand. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, moving on. The spoke to review the proposed wall sign at existing restaurant nightclub called the spoke. Uh, at 33-37 East Pleasant Street. Do we have somebody there to, uh, Do, uh, yeah. Chad? Chad? Okay. Chad O'Rourke. Hi guys, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Hi. I don't have great service, so I'm hoping to not lose you. Okay. Um, uh, Chad, would you like, uh, can, you, you can see us, right? Or are you on a phone? I can see you. Yeah, sorry that you, if my okay. video is not working, I apologize. Oh, that's all right. Okay, so, okay. Uh, would you like to kind of like sort of go around the building real quick? Uh, sure. So, so the picture that you're showing there, Maureen, that's the north side of the building. It's what faces uh, Garcia's. Yes. Um, and so that's the sign. Obviously, that that particular side used to be used to belong to Amherst Copy. We took it over and. 2020 and we expanded the the bar into that mm -hmm. side to to add a nightclub um we do we do live music sometimes we do events um, we host people rent it out um so it's sort of a, a function hall space that's on on that particular half of the building and that's uh that's, that's the front the there front. so yeah that would be the front of that left side that half of the building yep okay and then this was already Magic. approved, but. Yeah, that's all the original side. That was formerly um, Amherst Sub and Pizza years ago in 2018. I took that side over and we expanded into there. So that's the south side of the building, south corner there. And that's the rear, um, rear south corner, right. back side. Okay. <clears throat> okay, all right, yeah. And so, so the only change we're looking at is just that graphic on the glass on this north side. Correct. Yeah, that one yeah. that says live. So we call that yeah. we call that nightclub side spoke live. Um, I, its intention was, you know, again to be a function hall, live music center, uh, anything like that. And um, so this is an after the fact uh, uh, approval, uh, seeking of approval for the, the the decal that's in the window. It is a decal. It is a a um, sticker based uh, one that Amherst copy has already installed in you know to be completely honest with the board when when we had gone before DRB originally um, we were discussing doing something over there I thought we already had approval for it uh, Amherst yeah. copy used to have a decal in that window and they used to have a sign above it as well um, I 
honestly thought it was already part of it. We had put it off because COVID stalled us on some of the things we wanted to do over there. Um, we had finally got Amherst copy um, months and months later to install it and, and they had, and then David Cody reached out to me and said, hey, this doesn't seem to be part of the permit for DRB. So you're gonna have to go um, before DRB again. And, and that's where we're at. So again, this is, you know, like I said, it is already in place. I'm seeking an after the fact approval from you guys on, on what is currently in place there. Okay. And it's blue background, it's the blue and white scene. That's right. Uh, black and white. Oh, this black and white. Okay. It is black and white. Yeah. That's our colors on that side. So again, and, and, you know, how we view ourselves uh, in sort of two spaces in that particular building, um, the original spoke, what we call spoke pub, uh, that is a blue and white theme. And then this particular side of the building, which we call spoke live, that is a black and white theme. Okay. 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 But so this is the only sign for live. Uh, it didn't look like you changed any of the signs along the correct okay correct. all right hey chad do you have any intention of adding additional signage for the live section i wasn't going to um you know in terms of the advertising aspect of it um we don't we don't necessarily read it, need to do it for that reason yeah um you know we put it in there to you know and being honest one of the biggest reasons we we put a d Cal even back in that window is that the the former decal that was in the window framers copy was is that that dot style where you can see through it on one side but not on the other and when it was removed it made such a mess of the window that yeah. for about a year the window because it had to be scraped to be removed but it had been on for so long from Amherst copy that it 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 almost made it impossible it sort of left a film on that yeah. window and it just didn't look good it didn't look nice and and now I mean in my opinion it looks very nice. It looks clean yeah, from the yeah. inside. It it sort of shades it on the inside yeah. in that corner. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, aesthetically, Chad, I really like what you've done here. It's kind of why I'm asking why, whether or not you might consider it elsewhere. But I mean, I don't think it's necessary, but I, I think it looks great. I like the scale of it. I like um, what it's doing for you on this blank wall. And uh, I'd, I'd like to see more of it, but I'm happy to approve it as it is. Becky, any? Thoughts from that looks great. Okay. Yeah, I feel the same way. It's it's clean and neat and it fits right in there. You just, um, I I'm gonna look for it tomorrow when I go downtown. <laughs> I just didn't even notice it. So I can't say that it it screams out that somebody should be bothered by, you know, by that sign. And um, yeah, okay. So I think we're all in agreement. Can somebody Becky, would you like to move? And Tom, would you like to second? Okay, all in favor, raise your hands. Okay. <laughs> okay. Catherine's streamlining everything today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. You, all right. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day. Yeah. You as well. All right. Bye now. Okay. So we have. Colleagues, my apologies for being late. I had it. It's just a total calendar flub. I had it in at six o'clock and then. Checked my email. My apologies. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> We're almost finished. Happens. Yeah, don't worry, Erica. <laughs> Catherine's got this like. I'm We're on a, a, we are in very on good hands. We are so incredibly. Capable. I'm on a speed dial here. <laughs> okay, so Marie, we have one more from the Drake. Yeah. Um, Okay. Yep. Uh, so we have uh, Gabrielle Gould okay. uh, from the Amherst Bid and the Downtown Amherst Foundations. Hello, all. How are you? Okay. Well, thanks. Um, I'd like to start this by saying I do know how to spell marquee. I don't know what happened here, but uh, just ignore that. Um, so um, the Drake has been open for about six months. We closed for our summer uh, four weeks stint to do some interior uh, punch list things. And one of the things that we keep hearing is that um, we need a marquee that shows what we're doing each night. Mm. Um, we, this isn't our ideal. This is an old fashioned backlit marquee. Um, Ron Shepard would run a conduit sort of. Well, is it just you backlit um, yellow, if you will, light. And then these letters are the um, letters that you uh, literally like stick in, stick on, um, not stick on, but they're like in between channel locks. 
Mm-hmm. So we would just reach over and change them. Um, in an, a better, more ideal world, what we'd really like to have happen is um, this. Oh. Um, we would love to replicate what the cinema has on two sides of this sign. Uh, it could hang the exact same way and be in that same location. Uh, it would just be electronic so that we could um, type in, you know, so tomorrow night we have GA20, you know, so it would say tonight, GA20, doors open at 7, 8 p.m. And then the next sort of slide would come through, if you will, that would say, um, I, I can't remember who's playing tomorrow night, but let's just say it's Winton Marsalis, 7 p.m., you know, tickets at... Um, we don't feel that we need the Drake logo any more than what we already have, which is here and here. Um, I think everybody knows that this is quite a large building, so we haven't really taken up all the signage that um, the, the 10% would be. Um, so again, this is an old fashioned uh, black letter sign with a uh, bright yellow background, lit background. And then this is what we'd really like to do. Um, we're meeting with sign technique tomorrow, depending on how this meeting goes today. Um, if there's actual interest and um, you guys would like to see something more like this, um, we would too. We'd also like to see Harry Styles with the Drake, but hey, we're all, you know, hedging our bets here. <laughs> so yeah, so this is what we wanted to present to you. Um, the concept of a marquee, old school or a little bit more um, modern, but not uh, flashy Las Vegas, a million different colors and, you know, moving, um, just kind of simple on both sides. Okay. Okay, so Erica, I'll hand it back to you. <laughs> oh, well, okay. sure. <laughs> thank you, Catherine. <laughs> um, Gabrielle, thank you very much. And I know, um, I'm sure that folks have, have questions. Um, I just, when you said, if we'd rather see, like, is there, you're doing the um, old fashioned version as a cost? Like what, what's driving that right now? Is it? Um, I, I think we kind of wanted to present two different concepts. Um, you know, oh. um, we wanted to show you what like the old fashioned could be, and then also show you what something a little bit more modern. Yeah. Um, I know that, um, I know that when the sufas went up, you guys all know what the sufas are, those stands. Um, yes. One of the things that we asked the town was why aren't we doing touch screen that actually like brings you menus. And they were like, oh, you know, they're too modern. Nobody wants that. It's too like mall. It, it comes off as too, you know, we don't want bright lights, you know, but I, we have so much, um, what's the, it has light in the sign. It's, it, they're made out of glass, mm -hmm. forgetting. Um, I can't think of what they are, like open signs that people use and they blink. And um, yeah. I, I feel like the, the cinema's done such a beautiful job now that those signs are working again. We know that they were, they haven't been working for the last couple of years, but they're fixed, they're beautiful. Um, this is really our preference. Um, we do have a grant to, to do, a, we have a, a restricted grant for a marquee. Um, so either way, um, whether we do this one or the more modern and electric, electronic, uh, we're, we're sort of fine with either. We'd love the electronics because of course that means we're not out there, you know, changing little black letters all the time. I know, I can only envision either somebody's hanging over a 36 inch railing, which sounds yeah. really dangerous or they're on a ladder. I, yeah. yeah either I, way, I, it's, it's, it's going to- Upside down, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, upside down. I, I know, I'm curious to hear <laughs> what everyone else thinks, but I, I lean towards the digital sign myself just for, First yeah. of all, it's just a much more user friendly environment. And you know, you're it's a it's a live happening place in the middle of downtown. We're not worried about adding to the light light yeah. levels and all. Yeah. yeah. No, this is a great a great spot for something that's illuminated like that as well, the digital sign. I think Gabrielle, the only not concern, the only um thing that you should consider is that the way the marquee is now embedded in the overhang at mm -hmm. the Amherst Cinema, we don't yeah. know how deep that is. It might have a lot of depth to it. It, it's it really actually, thin. it's really thin. And okay. again, I'm meeting with the sign technique, te sign technique gentleman who did the cinema. Yeah. Um, he's coming to meet me tomorrow, but when I explained him how we wanted to mount this and sent him this picture, he was like, oh yeah, that's great. We'll just have to put a false okay. back on it. Yeah, that was my concern. I just didn't know kind of technologically how deep that yep. was because it might look awkward. Not again that yeah. I didn't want it there, but it might look awkward if it were too deep kind of hanging off the railing. But yeah, um, um, but yeah I think no, modern I, flat screen TVs is really, you know, I, yeah, that's a, I know. I assumed that I just didn't want to 
I want to, to clarify that it's something that I would be yeah. thinking about. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I, I, I agree. I think the more modern sign is great. Um, there is something to be said about the good old, old fashioned, old school signs. Um, but um, but I, I think, you know, it's appropriate for, for you to, to leverage the technology to do something clean and simple like the, the cinema. Thank you. Becky, do you want to share your thoughts? Yeah, I yeah, I just wanted to, when I first saw the hand-lettered one, I thought, oh, that is just um, not okay. <laughs> it's too old-fashioned. It's too dated. And it, it just doesn't look like what the great is trying, it is and has become. So I would definitely not approve that and would wholeheartedly approve something like the right. cinema. Yeah. And Catherine? Yeah. yeah, it's funny. I keep thinking about, like, the, the Calvin. Right, and that's still like old school pressing letters and it has like an aesthetic. So I'm not against it in this case. But yeah. Like, there's yeah. definitely like, a, there's a time and a place for, for certain things like that. And I think this is an opportunity to like get people's attention. And as the Drake being relatively new um, in the community, it would be nice to I think, get people's attention in a, in a um, creative yeah. way. But um, yeah, I, yeah. I, I agree. Yeah, I agree. And you know, in a way, if uh, you have like little little entertainment cluster with those signs, we got the Amber Cinema sign, and then you have the Drake sign. If they're similar, it gives us sort of a pop uh, little message that you know this is uh, got some entertainment going right here in this little area. So yeah, I yeah. I, I love those uh, Amber Cinema signs, and I and I always look up to see what's what's playing. And uh, yeah, I think you should. Uh, I'm, I'm green with everybody. I think you should. All right. Well, for. before we wind down, I guess everybody's on speed dial today, but um, before we wind down the conversation, there are some, probably some aesthetic choices to make with regards to frame color. Um, I was thinking about, and I guess this is, it would be an issue on the backside of the sign, but because it's hanging on an open railing to make sure that kind of the, if it wasn't inten intended, designed to be seen from the back, there may be some additional measures or housing that you want to create so that stays protected. Um, yep. So seems Erica, like the black frame is, is appropriate. I, yeah, I think what we'd love to do is either stick with the black frame. And again, I, the gentleman that I spoke with at Sign Technique said that we'd have to put a false back on it for protection. Right. Um, we could go with either black or we could take this wine color that we, I know it's not wine, but it's, um, you know, like a burnt, a burnt red that we already have here and carry that forward. I like the black because everything around here is black. Yeah. Um, and I know that White Lion Brewery is going underneath us and their sign will be going right here um, in the same way that the Drake is up here. And I think that that'll be a really nice, if we continue with all the black, I think that that's gonna be the most attractive going forward. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else have some questions or? Um, no, I, and I would agree with the, the black as the, the right choice to blend into the railing. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. And mounting hardware will be not visible from the front. Should not be at all. And um, I did speak with Ron Shepard and he would run, um, a, it, it's not a whole lot of power that goes to these. So he would run right from inside the building. He would mm -hmm. run a power conduit right along here. You wouldn't see it. Okay, great. great. Uh, any other thoughts or would somebody like to make a motion? I move that we, we uh, accept the proposal for the sign for the Drake uh, and uh, with the electronic uh, format. Well, makes any sense, but. Yeah. A second. That, okay. Any further discussion? Okay, hearing none. Um, all those in favor? Say aye, raise your aye. hand. Hi. Hi. We have a unanimous vote, Gabrielle. Thank you. Well, thank you all so much. And you guys really. Oh, you frozen. You froze. froze. Go, go have a nice evening. Okay. okay. Thank great. you. Oh, thank Sorry, you. everybody. Yeah. We'll see you at the drink. Thank you. Have a great night. She praised you, but you never heard what she said. <laughs> you may have. <laughs> okay. Um, um, I didn't even pull up the agenda. What's next? 
Uh, it is the meeting minutes, and once again, um, I don't have them ready. Okay. I, I have for in your packets. I um, actually provided sort of the motions and yeah. the dialogue from, yeah. from the meetings. That you I know, I like put that. Them in a word yeah. document. I think form. that I, I like that. That's the first time. We, I think the first time we've done that. Right. Yeah, that was really helpful. Yeah. 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 Was yeah I decided to do that to f refresh your memories right. and mine. <laughs> yes. Well, and also we we haven't had everybody at every meeting, That's right. so like we some haven't. people need to get caught up. It was yeah. really helpful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Very yeah. helpful. Okay. And then um, Maureen, are we also? I mean, this might be other business, but um, are are we cool with everybody being um, renewed? Their their terms being uh, renewed and refreshed and. <laughs> Becky's brand new. Yeah, I just joined. We <laughs> got her that. for a while. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I need to go to the website. I think that was done, or I was asking the same question, Eric. Yeah. Uh, um, are we legit? You don't have to resolve it now, but it might be something that we could um, just make sure that we. Yeah address yeah. Um, I know that the planning meetings. board re reappointed Tom as their representative uh, -huh. uh Rebecca yeah all sitting members tonight are um their your terms are valid for okay. the rest of this year okay. <clears throat> oh uh, maybe not Catherine I have oh. brought this uh attention to the town manager's office and it is on the list for them to okay uh, address so it might be a technical um, glitch but um it is something being okay. worked on okay right. yeah good question yeah. right. don't yeah. do anything controversial in the interim <laughs> yeah. so uh, i did have a question about the oyster bar and that I mean they really almost demolished the place are they going to wow. be back with the same shape because we we approved a certain look uh, oh they did come back yeah did they come back with the, they took the roof off those? Right, they came back. Yeah. I, oh, okay. I thought there was one more step. Yeah. Uh, was it two? Okay. All right. What the, 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 was the last meeting? It was the it last was meeting, last wasn't meeting. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. That's maybe why I'm thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. That uh, they were going to, it's going to be the same. Yeah. Apparently, Catherine, when they um, started doing some work, they discovered that the place where the the front yeah. met the old roof, right. there was like a ton of water damage and they ended up yeah. just ripping yeah, it they, down. Yeah, and it's actually cool. a cleaner. Yeah. yeah. So I don't even know if there's gonna be an oyster bar. It seemed like they were here like a year ago. And, <laughs> and where, where are the worst next year? Be 2023, they they say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so far. Okay. Okay. I've yeah. I was at that meeting, but I'll raise it back. Okay. Yeah, I can see why you had been like, ah, that is not what we talked about. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, I, I just, I, I wanted to pull it up. So this is what hmm. did the board, it was actually two meetings ago. I thought it was last meeting. Two meetings, two okay. Meetings. Yeah. So it will look like this. Maybe what spooked me was I actually saw, saw drove, drove by and saw that half a building there, you know, they take all that, uh, old roof off so yeah okay still very blue yeah but... all right all right well all right. Uh, at the moment i don't have any applications but that's always subject to change um and um i'll i'll reach out um we try to have a, one meeting per month so perhaps mm -hmm. there could be a meeting in november yeah. but um <clears throat> But I guess in the meantime, I hope you have all have a wonderful Halloween. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, you too. Yeah. Thank you. And thank perhaps you. Thanksgiving if I don't see you. But I, I have a uh, feeling we'll probably be in November yeah. if, if if everyone's available. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. Okay. Catherine, so, thanks for holding down oh. the floor. My apologies <laughs> yeah. again. That's all right. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, All right. I don't think we need to make a motion to adjourn. So, uh, but we'll end the meeting at five forty-five. Okay. Very good. Thanks. Good night, good all. everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye.